What's good you guys and welcome back to Pokemon Eclipse. It's uh, been a while since I actually recorded so I want to do a t quick team recap. And by the looks of it we should also go queue up. So we've got Birch, our Starly, uh, with Keen Eye, Tackle, Double Team, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. Let's uh, move that around. We've got Barry, our starter, who is now a uh, Luxio with Tackle, Spark, Shockwave, and Doll Eyes. And so I did realize uh, a few episodes back I mentioned that Shockwave might not be a real move. It actually is. I saw it when I was playing uh, Pokemon Sun. I saw it on, on my Elekid. Uh, that I, I, I caught an Elekid and I saw it had Shockwave. So I realized that it was not a fake move. Uh, I, I learned that. Um, <laughs> it With Intimidate. Brave nature. We've got Sushi, our core fish, with adaptability. If I'm not wrong, actually, that's the hidden ability. I just realized that. Uh, Bubble, Harden, Vice Grip, and Leer. And we've got Diantha, who we caught last episode, Confusion and Growl, our Synchronizer, Ralts, Modest Nature. That's actually pretty good. So, uh, I believe we should be able to quickly go and heal up, and then we can always, uh, battle the gym leader and so anyways guys we have a question of the day today as we are doing in this series which is what is your favorite ghost type um for me i have two ghost types that i really like and to be honest they are not some of the original pokemon they are actually some of the newer pokemon which is very interesting um do i want to lead out with birch i'll lead out with birch i think that's best move we got. Impressive. You seem to have no trouble fighting your way to face me. You have talent, but are still very inexperienced. Do you think you have what it takes to beat me in a Pokemon battle and earn your first badge? Um, as I was saying, she has, uh, Leader Muriel. Actually, again, I really like the sprites in this game. Honestly. Uh, Duskull. Okay, so we can't use Quick Attack and Tackle. Um, two of my favorite ghost type Pokemon. I, I don't know which one I like more. I like Trevenant from Gen 6. Really like it. Um, I, I love the look of the Pokemon and I don't think we can... Yeah, we're not going to be able to take another one. Uh, do you have any... Does Barry have Bite? Barry has Bite, right? He doesn't? Does he want Bite? Okay. Um, Trevenant, I, I, I love the look of Trevenant, um, I like its typing as well, grass, it, you know, it's actually also a very nice grass type, um, and as well, I, uh, like, a, a Pokemon from Gen 7, it is not Mimikyu, even though Mimikyu is pretty cool, but I do really like Palosand, I love the thing's ability, I, I you know, people are like, oh, I, I don't like all these inanimate object Pokemon, there's some of them are actually pretty cool. I, I like Palo Sand a lot. I didn't uh, use one yet in my Pokemon when I was playing Pokemon Sun. Um, I just didn't have the room for it on my team. I, I did really want to use it, so I'll probably use it at a different point. And this person has a Yamask. But yeah, um, Trevenant Palo Sand. I, 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 I don't know. I, I just really like those Pokemon. Let's go for Spark. Let's see how much this does. That did a good amount. Ominous Wind. Boy, that did a lot. Attack Rose, Defense Rose, Speed Rose. Oh boy, that's not good. Shock. Uh, okay, Protect. Let's go for the Shockwave again. Will Lisp it missed? But yeah, uh, so that's my answer. Palosand and Trevenant are my favorite um, fair, uh, ghost types. Oh boy, that did a lot. This is going to knock it out. We just knock it out. Ah, oh, barely. Barely. Oh, boy. We have three potions. What I can do is I can... I can probably send in sushi or birch. If I send in one of these... I mean, I'm not doing a Nuzlocke run, so I can... Send someone in. Yeah, I can just do that, and then potion up, berry. This thing has will wisp Oh, we, you know, I think we can actually just beat it with birch. I believe birch is supposed to evolve soon as well. Protect. Is it going to try to kill me with the burn? The burn kills. I, 
I feel like he protect. Yeah, he was gonna try. But yeah, we get that wing attack, so we do win our first gym battle. Did not get as much XP as I thought. Diantha got uh, level 10 and double team. Good. Even though I noticed your talent, it seems I underestimate uh, your skills and experience. You deserve this. The official Pokemon League Ankh badge. Ankh is it? Yeah, Ankh badge. Okay. The Ankh badge makes your Pokemon more powerful and also allows your Pokemon to use the move Rock Climb to climb rocky walls. Uh, okay. You should also have this item, TM19, which is... Ominous Wind, which I kind of su suspected she would give us because her Pokemon used it a lot. Blast a target with a gust of repulsive wind. It may also raise all the user's stats at once. Is that it? Just as I thought. You're champion material, this guy. Always supporting us. Every generation, every game. Dad, how's it going, Craft? Are you in Coral already? I paid a visit to the Pokemon Trainer School and got your Pokenab number. Now I can call you anytime. Oh, boy. I heard there's trouble at the second floor of the Sawala Library. You should go there. Maybe you can help out. I'll see you soon, Craft, and don't forget to register my number. Oh, he, he, we registered him. Now I have to take the guy's phone calls. Alright. So let's heal up. Um... I wonder if Dawn fans in this game, or Fan P, I, I, I think I mentioned it last episode, Fan P is like one of my all time favorite Pokemon. I love the thing to death, same with Dawn fan, um, Valkyrie Hill, again, the names in this game, we battled this guy, I, I know I did a few things, I does this lead anywhere? Let's just do a bit of uh, battles, let's see if we might, we might also encounter something. What are the sprites in this game? Hexmaniac, Priscilla, <laughs> Chingling, and Birch is out first. I mean, it's so quick attack. Is that a good amount? We definitely need to get some uh, stronger mons in this game. Uh, in this game, so, I mean, like so far the team that we have is okay, but like, eh. Birch evolves at level fourteen. I want to say. Drifloon, we can just send in Barry and Spark or something. I'm interested to get more Pokemon in this game. I, I, I'm interested to see what Pokemon we can get in this game, because I, from what I know, I believe the Pokedex has all 721, 719? I, I don't know if it has Volcanion and Hoopa and Diancie, actually. But I, I know it has, uh, it's supposed to go up to Gen uh, 6. I'm just going to run around. Another Drifloon. I don't want a Drifloon. Not really interested in that. Whatever. Okay. Come on, give us something. Drif Another Drifloon. And why are they so low leveled also? Level 5. Okay, whatever. Let's just go into the Sawala Library. I believe we were actually in here last episode. Oh, hey, Craft, how have you been? Have you gotten the Ankh badge? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure I s we did this last episode. Uh, that's great. We've trained hard and finally managed to beat Muriel's ghost-type gym. What a battle. Definitely not now. We're in the library. There's a ton of books I'd like to skim through. Wow. And she gives us a netball and a repeat ball. Very nice lady gave me some Pokeballs. She said she worked for Devon Corp and wanted me to have some samples. Anyway, it was nice seeing you. I promise we'll battle next time we meet goes off to read. Welcome to the library. Unfortunately, the second floor has been temporarily closed off because it is under repair. Where are we? What am I supposed to do? Uh, read. Do people not know how to read still? Is, is that a thing? I can't read. I just look. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were definitely here. Okay, okay. And at second floor is closed off, but there's someone here. League of Ledian, that's definitely a pun on League of Legends. Hi there, sweetie. You look lost. Are you lost? Yes. I have just the thing for you. We've res uh, recently developed this tool over at Devon Corp. It's still a prototype, but it should help you find your way whenever you're lost. It's revolutionary. You can get it for free. So what do you think? Sweetie, do you want to try the Pathfinder? Sure. It should help you find your way whenever you're lost. Good luck, sweetie. Uh... What's this guy? This is strange. It has to be around here somewhere. What? 
Um, this is a, a single police officer. I don't get that psychic guy. He can fix the problem. What are we even looking for now? What? I'm so confused. Am I supposed to do something here? Am I supposed to try to find something here? Um... What am I supposed to be doing here? He said he can fix the problem. What are we even looking for now? Do I have to try to leave and then... No? Um, I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. So, I'm gonna try to figure out what we're supposed to be doing, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I figured out what we are supposed to do. Um, so we're supposed to use the newly acquired Pathfinder to try and find an item. Uh, okay. I guess there's a hidden room in here. Um, alright. Curlia. Be careful of that Curlia. Don't stay too close to it. it. Seems it was startled, then it ran away. You see, Curlia's psychic powers enable them to distort the space and time around them, creating mirages. People have recently been seeing strange things on, the f on this floor of the library, so I was asked to investigate. It seems that Curlia was the culprit. But good job on finding this room. I could sense Pokemon nearby, but I never suspected the vibrator would have a concealed room. My name is Nate. It's nice to meet you, Craft. How do you know my name, you stalker? You seem to have bonded well with your Pokemon. I would like to test these bonds, but let's save this for another time. Uh, there's one more place I need to check out to make sure everything is okay here. You see, Curlia don't usually uh, act out like this. I'm just going to summarize this. So I'm going to check Naga Cemetery, which is where the source of what's causing this seems to be coming from. If you'd like to lend me a hand, you know where I am. Uh, I'm guessing we technically have no other option unless we want, if we want to uh, uh, continue in this game. I don't know where Naga Cemetery is, but I'm guessing that's where this route leads. I didn't get a Pokemon until now. And Ralts. Okay. Um, let's just run away. We don't. Yeah, we don't really need to battle. All right. I hear ghosts are appearing in the cemetery. Could you be pranking people? No. Medium Juno with your mischievous. We need dark type moves. Okay, growl, we're just going to keep going for our wing attacks, because that's really all we can do, and it's going to use spite. There we go, come on, level up, yeah, there's the level up. Is this the evo? It is going to be the evo. So we get Staravia, which is almost one of my favorite flying types. Almost. Uh, Staraptor is definitely an amazing flying type. Actually, it's one of my favorite uh, starting birds. Alright, now that we got that Evo, um, okay. Zigzagoon. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't actually remember what level Corfish uh, evolves at. But definitely, when he does evolve, that would be great. I don't think we battled this kid yet. Uh, I'll let you have a secret rod that catches super Pokemon in just 500 hours. But, er, uh, if you see how rare the Pokemon you can catch with it, you're definitely going to buy this. Charge you twice, though. Are you sure about this? Fine, try it. Red's rod? As in, like, red from... Okay. An old beat up rod. It once belonged to a 10 year old boy who defeated an evil organization. Wow. Slowpoke. Shot. <gasps> Boys, shiny Slowpoke. Oh my gosh. That is a shot. Okay.
Okay, so we caught a shiny slowpoke. Oh my gosh. It is always vacantly lost in thought, but no one knows what it is thinking about. It is good at fishing with its tail. So poke the dopey Pokemon. And so this is a shiny. Alright, I'm just gonna uh, go with a casual nickname since I really can't think of anything. And I hope that the sprite that I added is the proper one. If not, I might change it between the next episode. What was that? A shiny slowpoke? I'm sorry, but this rod is not for sale after all. What? No. Sorry for the inconvenience. But we do get to, so it looks like that's a mandatory catch. Like, you're supposed to encounter it. So we do get a shiny, modest, modest natured, shiny slopo. I don't get that good of luck when I'm shiny hunting in my games. Own tempo. Curse, you on it. Oh, it doesn't have any attack. It doesn't have any offensive moves. You know, we'll see. So looks like we made it to Naga Cemetery. I was about to, um, oh boy, I was about to uh, give the EXP share to uh, Slowpoke, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep the Slowpoke. I might put in the PC. I, I'm not sure if I want to really use it. I've never, you know, maybe just because I've never used a soap book before, I will use it, just for that reason. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking, I don't have an awakening. Okay. Uh, we, oh, there, looks like there's an item here. One rare candy, okay. Still, even, I know it's a, by the looks of it, like, everyone gets that shiny soap book, but... I believe there was another game that I may have played that did something very similar to that. Hmm. I have to figure that out. But anyways, we have to move Sushi out of the way. I'm just gonna quickly uh, win this with Barry, I think. And this person's not battling. Okay. Whatever. Vulpix. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go for a tackle. Um, looks like we are not catching that Vulpix. Maybe, um, I'll catch one later. In that case. Yeah, I'll just go catch one later. There's just no reason not to. Um. Okay. Oh, hey there, Craft. Are you here to help? Uh, it seems what I'm looking for is inside this house, but the woman living here won't give it to me, but I have to check this place. Something is in here is causing Kuroi's powers to go out of control, and this can cause a lot of uh, trouble and accidents. Do me a favor and uh, get to the back door. You're going to need to climb some rocks, and so he's going to give us HMO5, which is rock climb. Okay. Uh, alrighty then, Mr. Nate person, guy, whatever your name is. Um, so there's rock climb right here. Do I have anyone that can learn it? I think that's a better question. Only Barry. That is not something I want to do. Um, if, if he's the only one, then I guess I have to. Maybe uh, I'll change it. At least I can get rid of doll eyes. Maybe we'll find the move uh, for move deleter later on, and we can get rid of it. No, oh well. Uh, Quinn's tag. Okay. Guess there was nothing here. Uh, so it looks like the rock line that we saw over here is what we need to be doing over here. You know, let's climb up. Uh, there's one of those bush things. Oh boy. Huh. A Murkrow. That's interesting. That is interesting. Not really a Murkrow type of person. 
So we are in the back. Uh, there's no other point. Do I just go in? Is that it? Can I sleep here? No. Is this your whole house? Uh, is there a way to... I feel like this is a glitch. Because it just says a random pedestal there. Oh well. Okay, I'm not crazy. One calcium. Um, no. Oh, don't force me to battle. Where am I? What just happened? Lucia, I'm sorry, I can't help. What? That's a phantom. Help me, please. Phantom. And I was just talking about how my favorite, like one of my favorite ghost types. Can I try to catch this thing? I want to try to catch this thing. I want. I, I we wouldn't be able to evolve it. Birch. Oh no! Wait, Birch would. Oh, Birch is gonna kill it. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have sent in Birch. It, it no struggle. No. Let's go to sushi. Um, I actually want to catch this. Maybe I will be able to. Let's see if this works. Oh, we can't catch it. Okay. Thank you for saving me. I'm Lucia. Lucia, I've never seen you before. Aren't you from the uh, My brother is he safe? Are we waking up? What the? Craft, you're finally awake. I, I was finally convinced Mrs. Damp to let me in, and I found you asleep on the floor. Looks like a guard bar put you to sleep, but it fled as soon as it saw me. Something about it seemed off, though. Oh well, there's nothing here anymore. But thanks for your help. Here, take this. It should make you feel better. Fresh water. The room you found in the library was an old refreshment area, and the vending machines should be working again soon. You should stock up on some fresh water at the library, then I'm sure uh, you can use to get rid of the bonsai that occasionally appear in Oracle Forest. Will you be heading to Iris Town next, then? It's northeast of Lapis. I'm, I have a feeling I'll be seeing you again, Craft. Goodbye. And I think this is a perfect spot to end off this episode. We are comfortable in a bed, asleep, with our new shiny slowpoke. Honestly, I can't get over that. I, I, even though it's a ROM hack, even uh, and I can't transfer it. Even though it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's an encounter that everyone gets. Even though, I, I don't know. I, I just think that is so cool that they would give us a shiny in this game. I just think that's cool. But that's me, guys. Um, I definitely want to train this thing up. Might do some training in between the episodes. Probably not. But that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode as much as I did, especially because we got that shiny. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy this series. Make sure to comment down below with the question of the day. What is your favorite ghost-type Pokemon? Again, mine is Trevenant and Palosand. Thank you guys so much. For oh, and Giratina, actually. I, I forgot to mention. It's like one of my favorite legendaries of all time. Um... That is it. Until next time, guys. See you guys all later. Peace.